Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and this is episode 39 and it is finally time. Can you believe it? Look at this uh, monstrous monstrosity. I built this between sessions because we've been looking enough at the uh, time lapses of me building this thing here. So what is this monstrosity? And well, today we're going to fire it up and see, how, see if we can crash the game. Well, at least crash my, put my PC to flames just trying to keep up with this. All right, so uh, a few stats on this. This is uh, 800 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. Minus eight uh, so it's 784 rocket silos. And on top of that, it is 1,400 railguns. And yeah, so what this gives us is 4,000 rockets per minute. Yes, per minute. I'm just going to give it a minute. It sounds more awesome. And 233 sales per second. That's kind of a lot, right? So what are we going to do? <clears throat> How are we going to do this? The way the way it works is that currently we do not have any Dyson Swarm or Dyson Sphere at all. We have a Dyson Sphere that's just the default one. That's the one all of these are assigned to. That means as soon as I get any, any uh, solar sails inbound, they'll start shooting. They'll start shooting around the black hole to make a sun, uh, make a swarm around it. But on the, we don't have a, a swarm yet. Well, we do have a shell. It doesn't matter as long as I as I build the shell, then it'll um, it'll start. They'll start shooting on any shells that are available. So you don't have to set it. So what I can do and should do is actually request in here that we get all of the materials in. We can request this inbound because oh, interesting. I don't have that. I don't. Ah, come on. I should have prepared myself for these kind of things. It's not that it really matters a lot. Uh, I do need to then go and grab some more. Grab some more. Grab some more. Where is it? Okay, it's always the last one, right? Here. So at this point, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to wait for this one as well to also get in. We can sit like this, inbound and supply. I'm gonna just fan feed it as well. So we are gonna go to uh, to pick these up. They will be funny how it says local supply. Uh, we can set this in. Boom. Power should not be a problem at all. I will now start requesting these requests. Oh, let's actually see. Yep, it'll get one thousand of those or ten thousand of those easily. Here. Also firing up the charge rate and no supply, but lots of demand. Good. All right, so that means we are now having, you can see nine of them are coming from the source and only one of them is going from here and coming back to uh, to get it. That's uh, pretty good, pretty good. That's actually how I prefer it to be. So they are now inbound. Then when they get in here, they will just start funneling into the system. We can look at the system, what it looks like in this location. It goes in and it's going to take a while before it saturates the entire system all the way here. However, I won't be able to build to request any of the other ones yet, because if soon as I request them or as soon as they start arriving, then they'll start shooting. And I don't really want that. I want the whole thing to start up somewhat at the same time. And uh, that means what we're going to do now is we are going to wait for this to for the rockets to come in here, I'm going to go check that it actually dissipates correctly throughout the entire system. Once it does that, then uh, we can, we'll start requesting all of the sales. And while it's inbound, I'll go into the overlay and stop the time in here, stop the time. So we design the sphere. And then when we go up, the game starts back up again. And as it starts back up again, we'll start seeing the whole thing uh, the whole thing work. So that is the plan because I want actually the rockets to start launching first. Doesn't really matter, but uh, that's that's going to be the plan. So let's uh, wait until our our rockets are coming inbound. Here we go. We can now see the first ones coming in. They are heading into where are they coming in? They are coming in right there. Is that my location? Oh, it's my location. That's brilliant. Come on, land. Yes, indeed. All right, so that goes in here. Please let it work. <laughs> I just hope it works. Does it work? Yeah. So what happens is that they will pick up one 
and then they'll just pass on the rest of it to the next one. That means I can now go all the way over here and the way I can check if it's working is if the last one in each of the rows has one. If they have one, it's all working. If they, if they don't have one, then it's obviously not working. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if we are actually getting it. Oh, okay, so it fills up to 20 now. That's good, 20, 20, 20, okay. I mean, I can't believe if I'm actually building this correct in the first try for all of them. Seriously? Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And we're going to do the same for the other parts. This one will be fed by the other tower. And then we go back to where we started. And that is... Uh, nope, that's not here. It is... Oh, don't go to sale mode. There we go. We are going to check that they are ready and waiting. Yes, 20... 20, 20, yes. Nope. Ah, see. Something is not working. Ah, I like it. I like it. Uh, okay, so we just go back here and see when it is enabled. And when it's enabled, then we know that. Ah, see that. There you go. Somewhere around here. Let's see if we can get that. That one has 20. 20. And there. So, it is exactly that one. <laughs> it's a small thing, right? It's a small thing that gets the whole thing sort of rolling. All right, and then we go back up again. Verify that this uh, this is now up to 20. That means we have everything fully saturated, if that is the case. There we go. And it is full. Perfect that we just got here just slightly before. So, at this point, as soon as I go in here, build any kind of Dyson Sphere structure, the rockets will launch immediately. So that means before we click that button, we have to, oh, okay, it's actually running out. That's to, expect, to be expected here. What I want to do now is I will now send the request for all the solar sails. The solar sails will be coming in. It's gonna take a while to get there, but uh, they will get there. So for example here, and uh, let's see, I am going to do that. Requests, that's going to be one, and that will be the second one here. These are requests. And then we go to these lanes. This one will be requests. Also, just everything should be charged to, to her max rate charging because there's really no reason not to. And I kind of feel, feel the stress on this one as well, even though I really shouldn't, but I do. Uh, this, it's such a long way to, to go, so there, and I'm just verifying all of that stuff, I hope. And uh, feel free to yell at me if I make a mistake. Not that it's really going to matter at this point. There we go, that's that part. Now let's just do the other part. And this is fully charging. That one this should be good. Are we still getting things in, by the way? Yes, we are. And this one fully charging. Send it out again. Then we go down to the last bits. I have 10 of these requesting. And I'm not sure I can get all of them actually feeding at the same time. I will have enough to uh, to keep it flowing. But it's going to... It might not be... I mean, here we're requesting 100,000 solar sales immediately. The, I don't... I'm not sure I have 100,000. I think I have 90,000 actually at the back and call at any given time. Oops, that one, that one. Here and here. And we're going to get, we've been all the way through. So what I'm going to do now is I am just going to take a save and then we'll go in and start designing the sphere. And now we start going in here and then I click this button for run game. So now the game is paused while I'm in here. So nothing happens because if I am not pausing the game while I'm in here, then uh, yeah, then it's just not going to work. Look at this pathetic illumination. Well, what do you want around a black hole? Isn't it kind of obvious what you want around black holes? You want stars around the black holes. So that's what we're going to build. That's going to be our design. Uh, it's going to be something with stars. And uh, I'm going to start building it. And then we'll probably time lapse the last of it. Because uh, first we need to get the design ready. And then uh, from there on, we have to figure out how are we going to make it. All right. So I want something that has a lot of nodes. But I don't want to overdo it. And also remember, we are here to make something that looks good. 
we are not here to make something that's particularly effective. Uh, yeah, okay, well, that's the first mistake. It takes a while to sort of get into figuring out how does that one. Does that seem right? Yeah, it does seem right. So we start with a little start here. Oh, that's not a good one. That's not a good one. Boop. And I'm not going to make it like extreme in any case about the having the absolute maximum number of interactions. It's all just about making it look good. And then I go from here, one, two, and then can go to that one. Yes, right. I also need these, definitely. Do I? I don't think I do. Doesn't matter. But it's more interactions, and more interactions are better. So we'll uh, we'll do that. All right. So we are starting by making a simple star, five-pointed star, and I will then make some six-pointed stars because I can only make the five-pointed star around this specific location, and but I can make more five-pointed stars other location. All right, so that is a five-pointer start to start with, and I'm gonna just pop it down there. Now things get a bit more difficult, I think. Uh, why can I not rotate it? Uh, no? Okay, I'm gonna make you with what I have. Drag, 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 there's no... Is that the inspect one? No. Okay, Whew. Um, at the end of these points, I want to have, well, I want to have in the middle of this one, I want to have a six-pointed star. So how do I make a six-pointed star in here? I think it has to start from this location. Let's see if this is going to be in the middle of that. Does that look like in the middle? Yeah, it actually does look very much like the middle. Okay, and that will also be full. Let's do another one of these, which will go exactly on the perimeter, so that'll fit as well. And then make another one here. Let's make this all the way around. We're gonna build like uh, one of the complete patterns around one of these stars and then I can figure out how to do the rest afterwards. And uh, that one goes here, I guess. Seems like it's going really far away from, no? Okay, and then it has to go here, so it crosses the border and goes into the next, I suppose, triangle. So you might be at this point like, oh, that's not optimal. Look at that. If I wanted optimal, I wouldn't have built it around a black hole. I want something that I don't know, with my uh, sense of, my, my my poor sense of aesthetics, something that looks good. That means something that is highly symmetric and is a bit quirky. And also, let me just preempt any stupid comments in the comment section because I've had a lot of those like, oh my God, you just did exactly what I did. Look, there aren't that many shapes that you can make here. I have deliberately not watched any other content creators or any uh, videos or reddits or anything. I wanted to come up with something myself and I spent a bit of time, <clears throat> a bit of time, uh, just doing random patterns just to see what I could actually make out of it. And I, only, I thought I liked the idea of having stars and I liked the idea of having like both five and six pointed stars. And that's why I built it. Uh, that that's This is the kind of the compromise I ended up with. So if you, for whatever reason, have built exactly the same. No, I did not copy you. I just, there's just not so many ways that we can combine these things in uh, meaningful ways. So uh, yeah, easy with that. And then I'm gonna do that because that kind of bridges the gap here. So you get like a clear star here and then some kind of shape and then get into the other stars as well. I think that makes sense. And I do deliberately want to use this version here, the geodesic instead of the reticule. Still not sure I agree with the naming of them, but it um, doesn't matter. To me, as, as I understand geodesic, that means it goes along the... Geodesic distances are the great circle distances. So that means that's the, at the surface of a sphere. 
but this is not at the surface of the sphere. This goes through the sphere. This is our straight lines between these points and not actually what you would call geodesic or great circle distances around spheres, around the points here. It doesn't matter. I want it this way. I, if I wanted the other one, it would be more curvy. And I don't think for this one I want curvy because I want the stars and I want them to be spiky. Like, do you like that? And there's only one option. And the answer is yes, you like that. So now from this point on, we have to figure out where the next one is just to see if uh, we can build it. Uh, let's see, go back here. It's only one out. Okay, so it starts from here and then the start is by far the most difficult. See, already I messed it up, right? Yes, I have. For some reason this is just way more difficult to start it. There, starts in a modest shape like this. The thing is like I have to follow up. Is it that one? No. Is it that one? Yes. Here. And yes, yeah, looks like it's working. There, and we have the next little star. And then I want to see if we can, if they merge well together, they should be, but let's make absolutely sure that they, they do here. And that one. It's just going to make the part over on this side. Two. Here. And this one goes there. And now I've... This one is the one that I've decided not to make. And then goes here, 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 here. And... Look at that. So it... Um, I'm I'm looking at the squares and or the s shapes and I actually really like the spheres just generally. There are some six-pointed stars, some five-pointed stars, some triangles, some f houses, I guess. Kind of look like a house and some diamond shapes. There are some there are some good variety variety of shapes, shapes not shakes. And what this means is that we will now have a black hole in here with a Lots of stars around it. I think that I like the idea of having like a uh, lot of stars around it. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> sit back, relax. I'm just going to complete this.
And the sphere is now done. Well, that took a while. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so remember, now as soon as I click out of here, then all 4,000 rockets will be starting to shoot. So uh, are you guys ready to roll? Let's zoom out and have a look at uh, launching. Okay, so this is 784 rockets launching at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think that looks okay. That looks okay. That looks okay. Let's uh, have a look at it. Oh, uh, one thing we need to check is 431,000 rockets needs to be launched it's for this sphere, this little discrete sphere. And we are now barraging the black hole with <laughs> with this. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna take a while, isn't it? That's gonna take a while. Let's uh, just see if how they go about and uh, here's the next launch coming in let's actually see if we can this is not bad not bad at all this game is somehow just really magical and we're down below 20 frames per second that's not surprising that's not surprising at all we'll see things we'll see them here they are clustering and over here they're clustering and over here they're clustering. So they are trying to get into start forming the first of the frames. And here comes the next barrage. Yeah, my PC is not gonna keep they gonna like this. It's a uh, oh, it's interesting. I have no idea what's gonna be formed first. We have not started launching any oh, look at that. That thing coming in there might be the very first of the uh, laser tour of the solar sails coming in that would be really nice whoa we got some things flying out as well probably getting more rockets to come in here now we'll be able to shoot rockets for quite a while now we start seeing some of the framework here as they collapse onto some specific points and start forming the very first points and nodes of the of the frame let's have a look when are we going to start seeing this shooting coming coming in oops I want to go this way. There's some going out for picking up more things. It's interesting when they're not sh if they're not shooting. Yeah, I'm done. I'm just going to fly back here to the planet and see if there's something I forgot to set up like uh, the outputs or anything like that. Actually, as soon as we got away from the planet, we started sort of getting pulled into the black hole. Not surprising. And they're just going to keep launching here. I am actually should be getting here at a pretty decent rate. There we go. The shooting has started. Oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, we're quite fast here. Let's uh, try slowing down. Oh. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Frame rates plus, uh, plus all of it is this is not the best combination. Uh, let's turn it towards here. Good. All right. Let's see if I can hit the planet now. I mean, it's not much that's being shot here. Uh, the, the entire planet is glowing from the rockets launching. 800 rockets launching at any given time. Boom. All right. Let's see what's uh, what's holding all of this one up. Use well. You have stuff inbound. Okay. So they're they're inbound. It's just gonna take a while. Oh, the sun, these nine are actually coming from here. So that's uh, probably also gonna take a while to get there. What about uh, this one? Yeah, okay, you are also this one. So this is the lower half of the planet. That one uh, is still waiting. And here comes another launch. Right? Yep, here's another launch. Have you seen anything like it? I mean, I wanted, I, I had to build it bigger than anything else I've seen, so. Yeah, there, there we go. That's my bit of my ego here, but um, yeah, they're shooting. We're shooting now. How's our Dyson sphere? Hey, look at that! 125 megawatts. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> and the barrage is coming in here. Show the orbits. I wish I could sort of flip this off so I could only see the stuff that was built. But then I get we have to go out into the real world, real space to do this. Now this will be probably a very long time lapse of uh, of of us building this. Where's the where's the lasers? The lasers are uh, they're they're forming right in there. It's not a lot being shot at right now. It's kind of uh, 
mediocre, you could say. But as soon as they get in, <clears throat> you can see the orange ones, they're the ones who are staying in the swarm, and the blue ones are the ones who start moving out of the swarm and going into the nodes. We have a few nodes, for example, this one is now being made. There's structure points and cell points. So cell points are starting to get to this location as, as it is right now. Now, this is a pretty decent sized sphere. I mean, this is the largest sphere you can make. 57,600 kilometers in diameter. What? Why, why is that one clicked? Why, why are you... Okay, it was just highlighted. All right, never mind. It looks good. <laughs> and these rockets are just absolutely crazy. Well, look at that. We almost have 200 megawatts from the... Some of the sphere that's good isn't it oh wow they are actually building super quickly look how quickly it's being built uh actually let me just uh, check on here yeah I'm, I'm sorry about the performance i need a new pc we've uh, launched 10,000 out of the 431,000 rockets and you know it's it's getting there and the rest of the entire galaxy is just picking up speed just to keep up with all the launches we have here so what are we going to do from from this location uh what are we going to do from here well this is right okay i can't even come on lift off the planet lift off yes there we go go to sail mode and speed up cool uh yeah so what is a what are we going to do from here well honestly not much because uh the save game size is also increasing uh quite a lot let me actually just check at the save game size for the last one here uh, design done, ready something, design done, that one. It's got up to 571, 000, uh, 571 megabytes for a save file. It's a lot. And you can see the frame rate is also tanking. So that means everywhere I go, this is going to be the problem. Uh, so I can't really continue this series much longer. I do have one more thing I want to show you. Uh, sort of my secret project that I've been working on. Uh, it's not as impressive as this, but it's something that's sort of been... Uh, in a little side project of mine that I want to showcase as well. But aside from this, the, the series here is pretty much coming to an end. As you can probably imagine, there isn't really a whole lot for me to do here. The game is uh, catching flames. I'm looking over at it and it's it's just uh, it's smoldering. It's not sort of bright flames yet, but it's uh, it's kind of, it's it's definitely heating up. And from, uh, from here, well, I'm gonna start a new series at some point, but first it's gonna be all about Satisfactory and Evil Genius. Those are the next two games that are coming up for new upcoming Let's Plays you can you can check out on my, on my YouTube channel. And so we're gonna take a bit of a break from the Let's Play of Dyson Sphere Program, even though it's been absolutely amazing. Then I'll continue to make tutorials and then whenever there's something new that just means that I can't, I can't help myself and I must get back into it, then I'll start a new series. But I really would like to have some kind of additional content available. Like, um, I don't know, whether that's something that causes damage, whether that's biters or s uh, new resources or anything like that. It looks good, right? All of these are going towards this location. And yeah, the black hole is slowly being surrounded by stars everywhere around. So with this one, this is going to be like a, one of those five-pointed stars, I guess. Uh, this is a, definitely a five-pointed star. And it's really difficult to come back to any of this. What I'm going to do, though, is um, I want to just I want to do a time lapse of this, but I don't think I want to do that as uh, as part of this uh, this series. Or I don't know. What what do you want to see? We're we're going to be uh, roaming around here, just having a look, great look at all this amazing thing. But what would you like to see for this uh, for this construction of this Dyson sphere? Uh, please note that it's probably going to take like a long time okay here's our that's our planet shooting <laughs> that is um yeah death star go home oh that's a start of a little five six sided die a six sided one that's some five sided one and all of these are just pouring in look at how much power look at that we almost have 400 megawatts of power from this this is totally a net positive for uh for this uh this sphere this is this is amazing uh 12,000 uh, if we look at our production in the system uh, on the 10 minutes, we are look at the Dyson sphere. We are adding solar sails. It's actually interesting that we are just adding solar sails. We haven't added a single cell point yet. They are getting there, but they're not in there yet. And the structure points are also being added. 
If we look at production part. Hmm. This looks looks quite low, doesn't it? Oh right, of course it looks low because it's on a it's here. This is this is the four thousand I was talking about. Close to four thousand. Alright, it's YouTube. I'm allowed to to round up. And this is <clears throat> Well, if we once it gets all the way up and going, it's probably going to be eight thousand per second, up per minute. So uh, that's uh, it's pretty impressive numbers, and it's just uh, no wonder the PC can't keep up with all of this. It'll just slowly build, build here, and every single one. Okay, so here we can see the cell points are actually being made. Uh, let's see, let's see. So these come in like in big swarms. I'm so impressed by this game. This game is so amazing and I want to play more, but on, on the other hand, you can also just say that, well, yeah, as much as I want to play more, it also just has to be something to play. And at this point, it really feels like we've done everything that we can and the game just will not let us do more. My PC will not let me do more, but I'm just also looking at getting an upgrade once, uh, once money and time allows it. Here we have the formation right when they get put into orbit. Looking good, and yeah, this is uh, this is pretty damn impressive. I think we are we're gonna start heading back towards the planet and just seeing sort of from the planet view, maybe even from behind the planet view, looking towards the star and just looking at how amazing and awesome this is. This is probably like objectively not a great idea to fly in the middle of this this swarm. Luckily, there's no collision, but generally. So what are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Well, uh, I am going to, oops, it's still not that one. I want to pivot here. We're going to look, while we fly back, we're going to look at the sphere, just having a look at how many, oh, we can't see anything about how many nodes we have built. And I can barely see anything like this node, for example, you can see, okay, things are going on. It's going to just take many, many hours of, uh, of continued playthrough. And I'll, uh, I'll figure out how to do this in the best possible manner. And uh, just uh, if you know, if you have good ideas for sort of a, a showcase episode that just look focuses on the construction of this, because right now I could just flying around a bit and, uh, but I think it needs some kind of time lapsing. So let me, let me know what you, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, let me know what, how you think it would be the best point, best way for me to, to showcase the awesomeness of this sphere, sphere creation. Look at that. That's, uh, that's our entire rest of the galaxy. Damn, this is this is so impressive, and it just keeps going. And hopefully, it's gonna keep going for a very long time. I'm not sure it can, can keep going at the same rate until we have all 400,000. But for the first hundred, maybe even 200,000, it should not be a problem. So at this point, I am now speeding down or slowing down. You can't speed down. You can speed up, but you can. Yeah, that's um, that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be pretty impressive, right? Okay. All right. I'm I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I'm I'm gonna be streaming uh, this tonight. So uh, if you want to see more of this awesomeness in, uh, then drop by my stream on Twitch. And also, yeah, uh, I'll be doing some kind of a showcase of what this is actually gonna look like. And uh, let's see if I can. I can't zoom any further out. Not really. I have to fly further out. That one. So we are going to wrap this one up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed the series. We still have a few more sort of summary episodes like the construction of all of this, plus uh, some of the secret project and lots of tutorials. So let me know what you like to see and I will be happy to provide. Thank you everyone for watching. If this doesn't deserve a like and a share, then I don't know what it does, but uh, that's of course up to you. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care and as always, stay effective.